Hello everybody, welcome back to Fantastic Gaming Plus. I'm Sin, here we are in East Shade. We have a few things to do. We have some more paintings we need to do. And we have to help that uh, veggie vendor because he sold a bunch of what he thought were zucchinis, but it turns out they're not. All right, Kai is informing the newspaper about the clean test results. Maybe their business will be safe now. Okay, so let's find out by going back into town and seeing about the newspaper. Let me get on my bike. Oh yeah. Here we go. All right, so I remember he said that people got them in blue bags. I think, oh, I thought he had a blue bag, but no, he's just wearing a blue coat. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we gotta find some people who look like they have purchased stuff from his cart. I'll go take a look. Oh no! This guy looks like he has a blue bag. Oh, what is it? Uh oh. Are you okay? I feel like I just ate a huge bite of death. What did you eat? All I had today was a zucchini. I, I mean, it looked weird, but it tasted really good. <laughs> feel better. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> I wonder if I could take a painting of him. Will that count as a sad soul? Hang on, let's find out. Uh, okay, so our painting thing. A portrait of despair. I don't know, does he count as a sad guy? <laughs> I mean, I could try. But let's find out. Does he look like a sad guy? He it does! It's perfect! I got the picture! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna talk oh, to you now. What is it? And tell you about the zucchini. I feel like I just okay, ate yes. a shoe. What did you eat? You ate zucchini, zucchini, the toxic tutors. Oh, great. Yeah, I bought one. I ate it already. Oh, how long is this gonna last? It'll be over before you know it. I'm gonna kill Ted. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, this is horrible. Well, at least you didn't eat all of them. Wish I could pick up the bag and take it with me. Okay, so there's one down. Well, hello. Well, well, well. Your clothes are looking a little scrappy. Bet you're just about to freeze to death come nightfall. If you're ever looking to upgrade your attire, I'm sure I have just the thing. Ooh. <gasps> a coat! Looks cozy enough to keep me warm all night. I need that, but I need more glow stoves. I will be back, I promise. And what do you have for sale, Good day. sir? Ma'am? Blacksmith, huh? Ooh, zip form. Make tea wherever you want to go. Okay, those are useful items for later. And she sells fish. Okay, I gotta find some more sick people. Newspaper. How's it going with the newspaper? Did you pick up a paper? Sure thing. Would you like to donate a glowstone to the Shady and Post so we can keep the paper free without ads and unmo- No problem. I've already given one. Did I just get another Shady and Post tea season? Tea season blooms on the island. Post. It's good night to dream teas in Nava. Have you ever enjoyed relaxing tea which carried you to another world? Ever appreciated a nap on the safe areas of the underground cistern? No more! A mysterious toxin has spread throughout the tea vines once grown there. Members of the roots have declined to speak with me, but rumors abound. Some suspect the plants contracted a disease from the influx of visitors to East Shade, while others surmise the plants were poisoned by a member of the Sheds. We may never know the truth in this matter, but our hearts and minds will certainly feel the loss. Perhaps a small comfort for those who loved a relaxing cuppa. If the Sheds are correct, the goddess of TM will surely smile on us this year. Okay, that's not the news I was looking for. I saw a wonderful show at the Tarnished Teapot last night. The tea house hosts a different musician or storyteller every evening. Ah, oh, they are such inspiring events. I don't know much about the group, other than that Ooh, it's some sort of spiritual gathering. But they do love dream tea. It's sacred to them. 
I think my father-in-law belongs to their group. I should ask him about it. Oh, have you been there yet? I highly recommend it. Just relax, sip some tea, and have a lovely nap. A perfect way to spend an afternoon. Goodness! I almost fed this to my grandmother! Thanks for finding me! Here, you take it back. I don't need it anymore. Thank you. Be safe. Okay, so I received one toxic tuber. And that one guy ate some already. Do you have a... You have a blue sack. Are you okay? Well, hello there. Such a great day, isn't it? It's definitely a great day. Ah. <sighs> I just love days like this. Last night, I saw two shooting stars, and right then, I knew today was going to be a fine one. Ah, you're an artist? Oh, you must be very skilled. I can barely draw a straight line in the mud. <laughs> if you're feeling especially energetic, we could always use a hand in the fields. We've got a lot of work down on the pea terraces. It can be draining. But I like to read in my free time. A nice book of poetry always boosts my spirits. Well, um, I want to talk to you about the roots. Ah, the secretive underground tea drinking society. I've had a few cups of dream tea in my day, but things have changed since then. Now it's all locked doors and passwords. Um, I think you have some toxic tubers. What? Are you serious? Okay, well, I bought some, but I definitely didn't eat them. I'd never make that kind of mistake. I, uh, I just don't have them anymore. Threw them away. <laughs> I, mm, I need to go now. Oh, no, you did eat them. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we have one more to find. Could be inside the market. Hello, I've got a painting to give Welcome you. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Yeah, well, here you go. 30 bucks for me, the sad guy. They're Ate some tubers. so very sad. Yeah, I know. All right, we got a new one. A windmill. I've only actually ever seen one in illustrations, and I just love them. One day I'll make a trip to Tiffmore to see one in person. Cool. Well, I'll have to make my way to Tiffmore at some point, too. All right. Someone who got a package... You should not have eaten it. But I can buy a coat now. Coat lady! I want a coat! Well, well, well. Your yes, clothes are yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much. Give me a coat. Thank you. Glad to see that coat is treating you well. Oh, thank you very much. I've lived here all my life. It's really developed into quite a prosperous little boom town. There's a real energy here. I don't ever want to leave. I've been sewing professionally for 30 years, but only two years ago was I able to have a proper stand here in the market. Exciting times. The Shez are the religious group that actually uses the teas out of respect for our goddess Tiem. They have a temple on the Tifmor Bluffs. If you know anything about the Roots cult, you should tell them. A group of degenerates. They lay in pools of water, drinking hallucinogenic teas and raving about their otherworldly experiences. They'll try to trick you into believing it only alters your dreams, but don't believe them. Their goal is to consume all the tea that rightfully belongs to the goddess Tiem, and the authorities are utterly useless in the matter. If you want to support and aid the sanctity of the tea, you should seek out the Shez as soon as possible. I didn't try to buy any zucchinis. <laughs> I grow my own at home. Okay, thank Poor you. Poor Tam. He tries, but things just don't seem to work out for him. Okay, well, I've got to find that person. And do I have to equip the coat? Okay, I don't think I have to. It's just automatic. Okay. 
Oh my god, I can't believe this happened. Have you gotten any of the tubers back? I don't mean to rush you, but this is urgent. I'm on it. I'm still looking for the last one. I've never actually been inside here. I wonder if the person's in here. Welcome to the inn below the tarnished teapot. Is that what this place is called? Mm, correct. Cool. It doesn't have a name? That is the name. We once had another name. But everyone just called us that inn below the tarnished teapot. I don't really blame them. This place is a bit of a dump. <laughs> the manager has really let it go. Who's the manager? Me. Oh. Why is it dumpy? It's cold and damp. Tiny windows. Smells a little stale. At least the front door's nice and big. That's a plus, I suppose. <laughs> Why are you so down on your own inn? Uh, I make do. The more occupancy, the more bedding I have to wash. The property value's gone up so much, I'm sitting on a fortune anyway. Uh, why don't you sell it? That would require some doing. <laughs> Not really much of a doer. I can tell. Uh, oh. oh my god. Okay, so I can't go in any of those places. Let's see what's upstairs. Oh, nice. Hey, the, the picture of the watermill I took. Is there anyone in here with a sack, a blue sack, that has tubers in that they shouldn't be eating? Anyone at all? Okay, so there is another staircase. Anyone? Oh, what's this? Pull. Oh, I'm so cool. Push. Ooh, I like that. Any key to leave. Okay, that's interesting. But not what I'm here for. And none of you- None of you want to talk to me. Okay, this was a waste of my bloody time. Has anyone bought some zucchini from Tam? Where are you? Oh! I didn't realize that you could buy one. Hey, so you know that hot spring I told you about? Evelina and I went out there for a picnic. It was nice. And she asked me to be her girlfriend. So now we're together. Good for you. It's so weird, but I feel like you had something to do with it. Anyway, thanks for whatever you did. No problem. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up plants. Yeah, speaking of plants. Yeah, I bought one. I knew it was a toxic tuber. It was pretty obvious. I already used it in a ritual, so you can't buy it back. Okay. Let me know if you need any weird tasting ground up plants. Yeah, well now that you took a toxic tuber and ground it up, I don't think I want anything from you. Thank you very much. Okay, we gotta get back to Tam. Tam, Tam, man, man, I got all your tubers, sort of. Did you of. get them back? Yeah, I got everything I could. Oh dear. I can't believe this. Oh, my days as a vendor are over. I just know it. Thank you for going out there. You can keep these tubers. Just don't eat them. Well, what am I going to do with them? Seriously. I don't want them either. All right, so what else do we got to do? Kai is informing the newspaper. The okay, so maybe I have to wait till the next day for that. Sandfish. Ooh, that I can do at night. Okay, so we need to buy a fish for hunting the sand fish. And we also have some some pictures to do. A small stone bridge, a natural arch, a starry cavern, and a windmill. I need fabric. Okay. I'm gonna go buy some fabric. I 
Thank you, Cell Fabric. Welcome back. We've got plenty more oh, patrons interested in your work. Can I see? Okay, so I can either buy a canvas for five or I can buy a fabric for six. I can buy two of these. Then I can make a canvas. And I'll have to use that for something that's going to give us some money. Unless I'm able to paint over canvases. Like, maybe I can paint on one of my previous ones like that one. Okay, okay, I can paint over- okay, so I do have extra ones. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go find a bridge. For that, I'm going to want my bicycle. Away now! So, if we get that zip line thing, we'll actually be able to go up there into that tree house. That would be awesome. And we can use it to kind of fast travel around without actually fast traveling. Alright, there's our bridge. There's our beautiful bridge. And all of the water foxes. Hi! How are you? Good times. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll get you guys in the picture. Bridge. A cute little water box in it. Cute, cute, cute. Um, a natural arch, starry cavern, and a windmill. Natural arch. I don't know where I've seen a natural arch. You can always check out this the little water fox cave and see if that's where we can find the starry cave. Does this count? Okay, so I'm gonna paint over this painting. Just because I can. Does this count as the starry cave? No, it does not. Okay. I know now. Well, now that it's nighttime, I'm gonna go head over to the Blushwood Forest. I couldn't find a natural arch, and neither of these two ah, neither of these caves that I visited count as the starry caves. So I'm gonna head to the Blushwood Forest and see what all that drumming is about. I hear the drumming. I'm going to the drums. Ooh, look at that. It's like a little party going on. <gasps> it's okay. You don't have to run. Oh, cute. You guys went into a little house. It's okay. Well... Forest of the Night updated. Got a little drum. And they went into a little hole in the tree that turned into just the tree. Well, that's interesting. So we just have to go back. Okay, so Rania. We have to go talk to Rania and tell her about the tree. The tree rock. <laughs> thing with the drumming. Strange. Hi again. Hello, it's hello, nice hi, hi. I saw the drummers. What? Really? A tree door? Let's go see it. Let's go. Okay, good. You're going to fast travel me there. <laughs> hmm. You're sure it was here? They were right here. Well, they seem to have left no trace. And the door in the tree? I swear there was a door. I believe you. I've been hearing those drums for too long. Something mysterious is afoot. Whatever they're doing, it's clear they don't wish to be discovered. I think you should ask around in Nava. Maybe there's someone who knows more about these Blushwood Night Drummers. Sure. All this investigating has made me thirsty. I think it's quite time for a Lindauian brew. Let me know if you find out more. Come on by any time. All right, thank you. Okay, so she wants me to ask around Nava. It's been a couple days since Kai declared his innocence. Is their business still struggling? Okay, so I'll have to check on them. And I'll have to ask people in Nava how everything's going. Okay, so let's go see how Kai is doing with his business. Oh no! Kai, your wife is stuck. She's jibbing out. 
Are you all right? I haven't seen this many glowstones in... Sheesh, years. We can never thank you enough for everything you've done to clear Kai's name. That's great. Thank you. Now go back to vibrating. I see how Kai... If I, he has anything to say. Hi, right? Can't believe it! Business is booming already. We're truly grateful for all of your help. Here, take these glowstones. We made a big sale just for the morning eclipse. Thank you. We're in the middle of our reopening oh, and Grimony, what a turnout! So you'll repay Finn? Of course, of course. Him and a few others. Cool. Couldn't have done this all without you. Oh, for great shade's sake, we, we gotta unpack some of what Caitlin already packed up. Oh, my poor wife. Can't believe what I put her through. I hope I can make up for it all. Of course, you're welcome to my wares any time, at a discount. Thank you very much. What do you have? But I don't know what that's for. <laughs> I don't know what that does. But anyway, thank you. All right, we got to get back to Navi. Oh, your poor wife is still vibrating out here. What are we supposed to do about her? I think she needs a tincture too. All right, so I'm wondering if the best people to ask about the drumming are maybe musicians. So let's go find some and ask them about the drumming we've been hearing. So you've got nothing to say. You have nothing to say either. Great. Is there a new newspaper? Potion seller? Ooh. What does it say about him? Proven innocent. Potion seller proves its strongest potions are legal. Kai and Kaelin Riverside are the owners and potion developers of a once bustling apothecary near Bellstream River. The apothecary fell into infamies as Kai was long suspected of using illegally sourced and nationally protected ingredients in the potions. Though never formally charged, suspicions ran deep enough to stunt their business entirely. In fact, this reporter discovered that few citizens had ever even heard of the apothecary. However, in recent events, the allegedly illegal potions were tested and confirmed to contain no trace of protected ingredients. While it's unclear how the rumors began, the couple is ecstatic to have been proven innocent. The two have amassed an astonishing level of debt and are finally on the track to begin repaying back their kind supporters. Well, that is lovely. I'm so happy to hear that they're all good now. Now, you sell fish and fishing what equipment, scrunchy right? scrumptious scales? Scrumptious raw fish? I can't wait until dinner time! Okay, so, oh, we need more, we need more money to get the fishing pole, but we have a painting to sell, do we not? Hello again. Thanks for rounding up those poisonous veggies. What a shock. I was able to explain it to the market council. They said I've got one more chance. Could you believe that? I've got my eyes on the prize this time. No more mix-ups. Good for you. I hope you have good luck. Hello, sir. I Welcome have a painting back. to sell. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Small stone bridge. Beautiful. Yeah, nothing to say about it, huh? Ooh, the Tiffmore ruins. So magnificent are those forgotten stones that this town so lonely in the windy Tiffmore. Okay, but well, these, these two I know are definitely out of our reach right now. This one I have no idea where it is, and I think this one's out of our reach right now too. So we're not gonna be getting any money. Uh, gotta find someone who's willing to talk to me about the drummers. Interested in a book? No. Thanks, anyway. Okay, so now that we've got some money, we can buy a fishing rod. What, crunt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fishing pole. And we're going to need to buy a thunder trout if we want to be able to get a sandfish. That's another 13. So we need to sell stuff to the one, one glowstone guy. And I recently figured out that stuff respawns after a while. So I was able to get more of those bloom sacks, which I can sell for a dollar each. So we'll just go find this dude. 
sell them our stuff. And I'm sure we'll find a guy we can talk to about the drumming. Hey, glowstone guy. Howdy. Howdy. I'm going to sell some stuff. Scragweed, I think. Thank you. Don't you just love the music of the bards? Oh, I always wanted to be a bard when I was a child, but I never learned to play an instrument. What do you know about the night drummers? Hmm, I haven't heard of anything like that. Uh, there are some things that can only be understood with a trip to the library. It's on the second floor of this building. Uh, don't be shy to ask a librarian for help if you need it. Thank you very much. I will definitely do that. There's a cat on top of there. I never noticed before. <laughs> Ma'am. What? Yeah, yeah, you and your fish. I want to buy a thunder trout, please. Thank you. We'll go fishing in the next episode. But first, before we end today, we need to check in the library about those night drummers. I'd like to get that quest finished. Right. Librarian. Hello, ma'am. Hi there. I'd like to talk to you about night drummers. You know, it's so strange. Somebody came in just this morning and donated a book. She said to point people to it if anyone asked about night drumming, which made very little sense to me, considering this book appears to be unrelated to that. Uh, not that I'm entirely sure what night drumming is. It was a little peculiar. Just about every sentence she said was a rhyme. Not sure if she meant to do that or if she was just doing it by accident. An interesting woman. I quite liked her. And then here you are asking about that very topic. So, are you a night a drummer? Am I saying that right? Is this a new thing people are doing? Oh, I'm always so behind the times. No, it's something uh, curious that I saw. Sounds curious indeed. Anyway, the book is called The First Folk and it's on Shelf C. Okay, thank you very much. Shelf C, okay, C is over here. The First Folk, is it this one? Yes. Little is known about the first folk of Eastshade. Remnants show activity on the island dating back at least 600 years. The ruins of the Tiefmoor Bluffs have yet to be closely studied, but it is believed that they were built centuries after initial inhabitation of the island. During Lindau's settlement, several relics and carvings were uncovered, but lost shortly after in the catastrophe catastrophic mudslide. It was previously believed that the first family settled on Eastshade just 200 years ago. We still have much to learn about Eastshade's true first inhabitants. Phew. A note slipped out from the pages. Dearest traveler, drumming unraveler, a start we had when you stumbled in. We aren't used to this, me and my kin. A shock it must have been that night to see us running off in fright. I do hope that you weren't offended. That's not how I would like this ended. If you forgive our quick retreat, I think that you and I should meet. Find me before dawn at Mudwillow's Mirror. I hope that I can make things clearer. Ooh. Well, now we're going to have to go back to the mirror place and see about those people. Hey, Finn, how you doing? da dee da mice in my garden, fiddle-dee-dee, squash in my stew. See you soon. Okay. That was weird. Alright, so he wanted to see us in the dawn. I mean, it is morning, but I don't see anybody here at the mirror, so I'm going to have to set up camp and wait until the next morning. Oh, it looks like there's somebody over there by the mirror. Ooh, let's go talk to him. Hello? Oh, it's a little raccoon. Hello. You got my message, and you came. Oh, it's so good to finally meet a sky folk. I mean, other than Mudwillow. But I guess she's not really a sky folk since she does live underground. Maybe you've met her. Yep. Anyway, please forgive all the sneaky sneaky. I should introduce myself. I am Alejo. My people call ourselves Mahra. But I believe your people might better know us as the first folk. Cool. Uh, why all the secrecy? 
Sadly, my people wouldn't exactly approve of me meeting with the Skyfolk. Uh, please, don't take that in a bad way. As a people, most of us are just very... Shy? Hmm, no, more like... I guess you could say we do not like to mingle with outsiders. But not me. For as long as I can remember, I have been fascinated by the Skyfolk. The stories, the architecture, the language. I have dedicated quite a lot of time to learning your tongue, after all. I am grateful to Mudwillow for being such a willing teacher. And the variety. Is it true that there are bear folk? Yes, certainly. Do they have temper, like a bear? Um, no, they're actually nice. More lies my people tell themselves. I see. Ah, I have so many questions for you. I hope it's not too bad to ask, but is it true that your people are removing the eyes of the firstborn? <laughs> what? Uh, not true. Aha! I knew it! I wonder what other lies my people are making up about the Skyfolk. And what is your trade? I'm a painter. Wow, that's very good. My sister is an artist too. She's an etcher. Carves designs into the walls and such things. Well, I should probably leave here. Someone will notice I'm gone if I'm out for much longer. Ooh, tell me. Do you think you could make me a painting of the big city? Mud Willow told me about it, but I want to see it. That would be incredible. I don't have much to give you, though. We could meet here again, same time tomorrow night. Sure, absolutely. That would be incredible. Paint it from afar, yes? I want to see the skyline. To be honest, I like to be beneath the sky and stars. I think we all do. That's why every so often, some of us come up here to make music. Ah, to feel the rhythm of music under the stars. Most feel it's worth the risk of being heard. I think I'm going to make a habit of coming up here every night. I hope to see you soon. It was a pleasure speaking with you. You too. All right, so let's go and get a nice painting of Navi. All right, I think a good picture will be from the top of this bridge. Like right here. That's a good spot. All right, do I have a blank canvas? I guess I can just use this one. There, beautiful. That is a beautiful painting. All right, so now we gotta sleep again until early morning. And give this to Alejo. There he is, our buddy. All right, let's pack up our bike and go say hi. I got you your painting. It's very pretty. I hope you like it. Hi. Hello again, my sky friend. I hope you're well. I myself was just having a nice think under the stars. I was dreaming about what it would be like to live up here. It's actually it pretty nice. It must be nice to always have the sky above. I do like home. The halls are warm, and everyone I love is there. But the sky speaks to me. Have you had the chance to make a painting of the big city? I sure did. Here you go. Ah, it is beautiful. Your people's buildings are incredible. I am sorry, I don't have any of your kind of money. My people use something we call Egra. I don't know how it's called in your tongue. I am still learning your language from Mudwillow. Thank you. It is rock where animal has died? It is living like a print in the rock? A fossil. Fossil? Yes, the fossil of a snail we use. What do your people use? Glowstones. Glowstones? We have lots of this. The rock of our home is rich with them. I can give you. You know, I would really like if you came to meet my people. You are a nice person. I think meeting you would help them see that outsiders are nothing to be scared of. Will you come with me to meet my people? I can show you my home and get you some glowstones. Sounds lovely. Uh, forgive me. But I'm going to have to ask to blindfold you. As much as I consider you a friend, 
My kin would not appreciate disclosing the way to our home. I will guide you. It's not far. Is that acceptable? Yes, that's no problem. Okay, let's go. Watch your step. This way. Not much further now. Good, because I can't see a darn thing. We have arrived. Please, wait here just one moment. Alejo? Don't leave me here in the dark. I went ahead and told most of the others that you're coming, so they won't get too startled. I've let them know you're completely friendly, but some of my people may still be alarmed. Please, pay no mind to any strange looks. This way, if you please. That would be no problem, because, you know, I've been seeing a bunch of animal-human hybrids, and not all of them are, you know, normal-looking. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Wow, this place is really nice. Hello? Hello, how are you? Okay, I'm scaring people. Sorry. Wow. We've got glowstones on the walls. Well, this is our home. What do you think? It's very beautiful. Oh, that will make us all feel very proud when I tell the others. I am glad you like it. We have been expanding for many generations now. We believe, as your own scholars do, that we Mahra were indeed the first folk to settle here. Our legend has it that the great sea captain Ilanit and her crew landed here after being lost at sea for 1,000 days without food or water. That's a long time. <laughs> it's probably a bit exaggerated. But I do think Ilanit was a real person and truly fearless. She braved the ocean after all. I can think of nothing more terrifying than this. I also braved the ocean a bit. <gasps> no, really? The sky speaks to me, but the ocean? No, 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 no. <laughs> we actually sank on the way in. Wow. Well, I'm glad you made it, so that we could find each other and become friends. Well, here is some Holy glowstones. Holy moly! I hope that's sufficient. That is I a crazy match. I truly am glad to have met you. You have taught me so much. I was thinking, one day I may want to go from here, go into the world, just to see. Do you think the Skyfolk would welcome me? Absolutely. Oh, that would be incredible. But I'm not ready yet. One day. I think your visit here will go a long way with my people. Now that they've seen you, a perfectly friendly one, it will plant the seed of acceptance. I dream that one day the Mahra can be friendly with the Skyfolk. I feel both our cultures would be richer. Me too. Okay. I'll let you look around a bit. Then I'll take you back. All right. Oh my god. Uh, you guys are right for hiding this place from people because... Knowing that you have... Oh. This is pretty. Wow. Cute. I don't think those count as stars. Hello! How are you? Oh, sorry. Scaring everybody. I don't think this count as stars, but I could always do a painting here. Um... <laughs> poor Tam. Oh, cool. But that didn't count as anything, unfortunately. That's okay. Pretty... Ooh, drums. Doom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom, da -doom. Fossils. Hello. All right, I think it's time that we headed back because I need to talk to Rania about this whole drummer people. Are you ready? I am ready. Ooh, 
friend of the first boat. Farewell, my friend. Bye. All right. Rania. Should talk to her, see if she has anything to say. Okay. So it turned out that Rania had nothing to say about the drummer people, even though she's the one who put me on this long quest to begin with. But it's over now. And what we're going to do in the next episode is we're going to go fishing and catch that sandfish. We got some more glowstone, so we can probably get that zipline tool and go up inside that big treehouse back yonder way. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so don't forget to like it if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, eh?